Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the hyperbola. Transforming standard form to general form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 3 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we answered numbers 1, 2, and 3. And for the part 2, we answered number 4. So feel free to see the link on the description down below with regards to the part 1 and part 2 of our video class. You need to see that one first before solving in this part 3 of our video. So this will be the part 3 class, number 5. Now before we start is we need to know the general form of the hyperbola. Once again, if your h at k is at 0, 0, this will be your equation. So ax squared minus cy squared plus f equals 0. Or you can have this one, negative ax squared plus cy squared plus f equals 0. Do not forget class that it's either a or c will be negative. So if you have this equation class, if your h and k is not 0, 0, this will be our equation. Now, if you have this equation class that your a is negative, that's actually okay class. Once again, when you answered, when you solve for the hyperbola, you transform standard form to general form. And your final answer is this one. You have a negative x squared. Okay, now you have negative ax squared. That's actually okay class. No need to multiply both sides by negative 1 to make it positive. The equation class of the hyperbola, one of them should be negative. So this is actually okay class. Okay, once again, our equation, if our h is not 0, 0, this will be our equation, ax squared minus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, or negative ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Alright, so there are some books that instead of c, they're using b, example, ax squared minus by squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, that's actually okay class. But most of the books class, we will be using this equation, the general form. Alright, so we will be using this equation class. Alright, so let's start with number 5. Now, to solve this one class, the thing that you will do is you need to eliminate the denominators. You need to remove the denominators class. Why is that, sir? Because it will be really complicated if you're dealing with rational equations, if you're dealing with fractions. Now, how to remove the denominator, sir? You need to find the LCM, the least common multiple. Of course, if we do it manually class, finding the LCM of 9 and 16, it will really take time class because these are large numbers. Example class, what are the multiples of 9? Of course, there would be 9. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4 is 36. Just add 9 class and so on. Now, what would be the multiples of 16? That would be 16 times 1 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 16 times 3 is 48 and so on. So it will really take time class if we have multiples of 9 and 16. If we find the multiples of 9 and the multiples of 16. So in the part 1 class and part 2 of our video, we actually do it manually. Okay, we actually do it manually because the, the, the given numbers class are just small numbers. Now if you have 9 and 16 class, it will really take time if we do it manually. So the thing that we will do, we just simply multiply class, the denominators. Just multiply class. If you have large numbers given on the denominator, go ahead, you can simply multiply. So let's multiply class. 16 times 9. So 9 times 6, that will be 54. 4, carry 5. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14. So the LCM of 9 and 16, that would be 144. So that's the thing that you will do, class, if you have given large numbers for multiples of 9 and 16. If it's hard for you to find the multiples, go ahead. You multiply the denominators, class, and that would be the LCM. All right? So for part 1, class, we actually do it manually because the given numbers are just small numbers. So this one class, this 9 and 16, it will be really complicated if we do it manually. So we just simply multiply. 9 times 16 is 144. So the LCM is 144. Alright, so once you get the LCM, you multiply the equation both sides by the LCM. Alright, so multiply it by 144 and 144. Then you distribute class. So multiply the equations by 144, then you distribute. Alright, you multiply 144 by this equation and same with this one. So this will be 144 times this equation, right? times y plus 2 on it is squared over 9. So you multiply this 144 by this equation. I will just put bracket plus because we already have the parentheses. 
Alright, 144 times this equation, minus, copy minus sign, 144, put bracket, times this equation, x minus 1, quantity squared over 16, equals 1 times this 144. Alright, and then, after you find the LCM, you distribute, after you distribute, you can now multiply class. But before you multiply, you check this one class. Can we reduce, can we divide 144 by 9? Can we divide 144 by 16? Yep, we can divide it 1. So 144 divided by 9, that is 16, right? Because 16 times 9, that's 144. Therefore, 144 divided by 9, that is 16. So we can divide this 1, 144 divided by 9, that is 16. So we just eliminated the denominator class. So that's the good thing class if you find the LCM. Alright, and 144 divided by 16. Can we divide 144 by 16? Yep, we can divide 144 by 16. Because 144, uh, 16 times 9, that's 144. So therefore, 144 divided by 16, that is 9. So eliminate this one. So reduce this one, this will be 9. And we just eliminated the denominator class. Okay, so after that one, you dis you multiply class. So this will be 16 times this equation. So we just eliminated the denominators class. So it will be really easy for us to simplify this one. So 16 times this equation, y plus 2 squared minus six, 9, sorry, 9 times this equation, 9 times x minus 1 squared equals 1 times 1 for 4. That would be 144. Alright, so next one, next step class. Next step. Do not multiply 16 in this equation. Why is that, sir? Because you need to follow PEMDAS. This remember class, PEMDAS. Parenthesis, exponents. Parenthesis, exponents comes first before multiplication. 16 in this equation class is just multiplication. So do not multiply. You simplify parenthesis, exponent. You simplify this one first class before multiplying it by 16. I hope you get this one class, parenthesis exponents. Alright, so let's simplify mm -hmm. x plus 2, quantity squared. So copy 16, then let's simplify this one. Uh, sorry, y plus 2, quantity squared. y plus 2 squared. Now, y plus 2 squared, it means you multiply this equation by itself twice. So we will be do doing the FOIL method. Let's try the two solutions class. The FOIL method and the square uh, binomial. So let's do this two solutions class. Let's check if they have the same answer. For me class, it's better to use the square of binomial because you can answer this one directly within 3 to 5 or 10 seconds if you master the square of binomial. That be word class. We will explain that later on. So y plus 2 quantity squared. Let's use the FOIL method. This one, it means you multiply this equation by itself twice. So y plus 2 times y plus 2. Alright, so first, y times y, y times y, that would be y squared. Then outer, y times positive 2, that's positive 2y. Then inner, 2 times y, that's positive 2y. Then last, 2 times 2, that's positive 4. Then you combine like terms. So copy y squared. Once again, if you're adding polynomials, you add the number, 2 plus 2 is 4. Then simply copy the literal coefficient, copy y class. 4y, then plus 4. So this will be y squared plus 4y plus 4. Okay, so this will be y squared plus 4y plus 4. Once again, quantity y plus 2 squared, the answer is y squared plus 4y plus 4. And then you multiply it by 16. Alright, so that's how you use the FOIL method. Let's do class the square of binomial. It's very easy class for the square of binomial. Because we will be answering this one by the square of binomial. So let's do the square of binomial. Do you still remember? Once again, class, you need to master the square of binomial, especially if you're dealing with conic sections. If you're dealing with circle, ellipse, parabola, hyperbola, you need to master the square of binomial. So the square of binomial, it says, you square the first term. Alright, then you multiply the first term and second term. Y times 2 times 2. So once again, you multiply the first term and second term times 2. So multiply the first term and second term times 2. So y times 2 times 2. 
then you square the last term. So 2 then squared. Alright, so this will be y squared, then y times 2, that's 2y, times 2, that's 4y, plus 4y. Then you square the last term, 2 times 2, that's 4. Easy, right? For the square of binomial. So that's how you solve class for the square of binomial. Very easy class. So let's try class with just one example class for the square of binomial. So y plus 3 squared. So once again, you square the first term. y times y, that's y squared. You multiply the first term and second term times 2. So y times 3, that's 3y times 2, that's positive 6y. Then you square the last term, 3 times 3, that's positive 9. So this is the answer class of this equation. Even if you use the FOIL method, you will get the same answer. So that's how you simplify class by the square of binomial. Easy, right, for the square of binomial? So if you want to know more about the square of binomial, I will just put the link on the description down below with regards to the square of binomial. Alright, so you copy 9. So copy negative 9. Then we simplify this one. x minus 2, quantity squared. So x minus 2, quantity squared. So, let's do the square of binomial. You, you square the first term, x times x, that would be x squared. Then, you multiply the first term and second term times 2, x times negative 1, that's negative 1x times 2, that would be negative 2x. Then, you square the last term, negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1. So, that would be the answer plus x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so if you're confused with that one, let me write the equation. You square the first term, x squared. You multiply the first term and second term, negative 1. x times negative 1 times 2. Then you square the last term, negative 1 squared. So that would be x times x, x squared. x times negative 1, that's negative 1x times 2, that's negative 2x. Negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1. Once again, class, if you're confused with this one, you can actually, once again, class, if you're confused, just do the FOIL method, class. x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. This is just the same, class. So, let's try, class, the FOIL method. First, x times x, x squared. Outer, x times negative 1, that's negative x. Inner, 1 times negative, I'm sorry, negative 1 times x, that's negative x. Neg you can write negative 1x class, okay, go ahead, x times negative 1, that's negative 1x, negative 1 times x, that's negative 1x, negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1 for the last. So x squared, if you're adding polynomials, add the number, negative 1 minus 1, negative 1 minus 1, if you have both negatives, copy negative sign, then add the number, 1 plus 1 is 2, copy x class, then plus 1, you get the same answer class. Okay, you get the same answer. But once again, it will take time plus if you do the FOIL method. You need to master class the square of binomial. Then equals 144. Alright, next step class, you distribute. Okay, we're almost done. Just simply distribute this equation. So, 16 times y squared, that would be 16y squared. 16 times positive 4y, that's positive 64y. So once again, class 16 times 4, that's 64. Let's, let's check that. 16 times 4. 4 times 6, that is 24. 4 carry 2. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 2 is 6, 64. 16 times positive 4, that's positive 64. Negative 9 times x squared. Negative 9 times positive x squared. Negative times positive is negative. 9 times x squared, that would be 9x squared. Negative 9 times negative 2x, so negative times negative is positive. Once again, plus if you're multiplying unlike signs, the answer is negative. If you're multiplying same signs, the answer is positive. Negative 9 times negative 2x, that would be positive 18x. Negative 9 times positive 1, unlike signs, negative times positive is negative. 9 times 1 is 9. Equals 144. So let's arrange class. Let's arrange this one. So, let me erase this part. You pause the video class. I will be erasing the top part. I hope you're still with me class. Quite complicated, right? But we need to answer this one class step by step. 
So, once again, arrange this one. Do not forget class, x squared comes first. x squared comes first before y squared. So, even if it's negative, that's actually okay class. Okay? Even if it's negative, that's okay class. No need to multiply both sides by negative 1. That's actually okay class that you have a negative x squared. So, x squared comes first. So, we have negative 9x squared followed by y squared, positive 16y squared. Followed by x with exponent of 1. So, check the equation class. y squared, then dx, then ey, then last f. f is the constant class. Last part will be the numbers. So, we have 18x. Next, y plus 64y. Then, next will be, we have the number, plus 64. Next will be, we have negative 9. So, negative 9. Next will be transpose 144. You transpose class this 144 from right to left. You transfer this one. 144 from right to left. Once you transfer from this equal sign, you change the sign class. This is positive 144. It will be negative 144 equals 0. Let's copy class so that you will not be confused. y squared plus 18x plus 64y. 64 minus 9, that's positive 55 minus 144 equals 0. And then combine this one, and this will be the answer. So our final answer will be 9x squared plus 16y squared plus 18x plus 64y, 55 minus 144. That's negative 89 equals 0. That's it, class. All set. All set for number 5. So if you have some questions, class, with regards to hyperbola, transforming standard form, to general form, go ahead class. You put your comment or you put your question in the comment section down below. So once again class, I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ class. Have a great day. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.